Hi everyone, this is Heather Day. I just wanted to share with you some things. I've had some ladies asking me um, in regards to some of the solder stamping and things that I do. So I thought I would do a quick video on how I do these and I hope you can see this okay. just want to make sure that everybody can see what's happening here. Um, there are several different ways that I do this, but my number one thing is to do it with my heat gun. That's the trick that I found has worked for me for over several years, and I wanted to show you how I do that. So, what I've done basically is I have a couple of spoon bowls here that I have pre-textured and everything, uh, but I'm going to just apply some solder to them. And um, like I said, I'm just using regular plumber solder from right off the roll. And I'm going to apply my flux directly. And this is my flux that I use. I just got it at my local welding shop or my plumbers. And um, what I'm going to do is apply that into certain areas on my spoons. And then as for the stamps, I use the red stamps that I picked up at Walmart. But there's also another one that you can get from Cool Tools and other places. Now, again, I've gotten these ones. I don't know if you can see this. I've gotten these ones from um, Michael's as well. In some of the areas, it is lifting, so I need to re-glue it down in there. But it doesn't affect with my stamping, so I have that one as well as... So the red ones are the best ones to work with, and then there's the gray ones. So I'm going to try to get into this and show you some different ways of doing these. So I'm going to start to heat up my solder or my spoon and then add solder to it with the flux and everything. So stick with me here, okay? I'm just adding my flux. My spoon is now getting nice and hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm holding the heat directly on it. I'm going to take my solder and begin to touch it onto there until it completely melts. So my, so my flux is now browning up and everything so it's getting to that point where it's heating well. It's now flowing. Flowing nicely. I've got a nice pool there. Now I'm going to remove my solder, but I'm going to hold my heat there. And while it's still liquefied, I'm going to pull it away and I'm going to drop my piece, my stamp onto it, just like this. Just lay it on top of it. I'm going to shut my heat off. So this doesn't have to be you know, you don't have to put a lot of pressure onto it, but you want to get some pressure onto it. I have no idea what kind of pattern I'm going to grab on this one. So, but you can do the entire spoon and let's just see what happens here. And I didn't press it hard enough. So the nice thing about this heating, I can reheat this. Sorry, we kind of tipped down a little bit there. So I can reheat this and re-stamp it with a little bit more pressure onto it. So just heat it up again. You want to get it to where it's bubbling once again. Because it doesn't take long for it to cool down so that you can continue stamping it. So it's just starting to liquefy molten here again. So it's all liquefied again. So let's do this again. I'm adding a little bit more pressure to it this time. Like I said, it doesn't take long for it to cool down. So let's see what kind of an impression we get on this one this time. So it's a nice impression. I don't want to completely grab this with my hand because it's hot. All right, let me see if I can grab a pair of, oh, there's a pair of pliers. So actually, I'm going to pick up my camera so you can see exactly.